Sunday. I am here. Oh my goodness. We are here with Kitty. Come here, Kitty. Come here, Kitty. I want to borrow Kitty. I want to borrow Kitty. I want to borrow the Kitty. I want to borrow the kitty. This is your channeler today. I want to borrow the kitty. Mama, there you go, Ming. I have my hood, Ming. Oh my goodness. Okay. You have to put. Oh my goodness, Ming. Okay. That didn't turn out as I, we have planned. Okay, let me retake that again. Ming, come here, Ming. Ming, come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Come here, Ming. Oh my God, come here. Okay, Mr. Tubi is, he's hard to get a hold of right now because we're all like bundled up. So let's go my soul tribe. Um, pick your choices, okay? Pile one, peppermint, marshmallow. Pile two, truffle. Pile three, marshmallow. Pile four, peanut butter simply be what calls you today red gold green and blue and this morning while i was about to set up i had like two choices here so i'm not sure if you're going to pick the same as i'm going to choose but for some reason i was already holding two of this while ago and it's i'm going to tell you later so let's go my soul tribe happy um sunday and i am here wearing my hoodie and i wanted to get kitty cat but it feels like oh my god it's kind of cold to be like moving around and i'm already here so right in front let's go twin flame soulmate future spouse energy update your weekend reading let's just make this possible kitty come here me toby come here come here to me because we're here in the blanket okay let's just go okay calling on my spirit guys my guardian angel the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe as we're going to channel messages possible energies advice for pile peppermint marshmallow truffle marshmallow Peanut butter, spirit guides. What's the message, spirit guides, for red, gold, green, and blue? Thank you very much. And let's move forward because, huh, maybe I'll put over here. So it's because our table can only take so much. And Merry Christmas, my soul tribe. Let's find out um, the reason why I do not want Kitty here because we have a lot going on on our table and she, he might like. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Um, I want to get the message in. So let me just put myself together in here. What is going on? Energy update. Ooh, it's, I could feel the breeze and it's kind of cold. So let's see what is happening with you, Pile Peppermint Marshmallow. The spirit guides. Ooh, something. Okay. I do feel like someone needs to release, let go, and surrender into this journey. That was the new cycle, but I'm not going to get it because it's a different deck. Because I was uh, trying to rearrange this later. So let's go. Spirit guides. Um, sorry, I haven't. I didn't took the first energy, but I know there's a message for pile one to trust and surrender if you are feeling hopeless and clueless. So what is happening with your love life, your future spouse? The hangman. I know it. Trust and surrender because right now there's a pause button. Like it feels like, like nothing is happening. It feels like you've been waiting for this connection for a long time. But where is your future spouse? 
spirit guide says it's a work in progress okay you are uh trying to find each other this is also like an energy like maybe someone just um went through spiritual awakening or someone went through dark night of the soul or tower moment it could be you it, it could be your counterpart but spirit guy says do not be so hopeless in thinking like yeah there's no there's no way out of here remember you have to decide what you want in your life if you're going to be thinking like yeah nothing is happening then nothing is happening so you have to like change your mindset okay so look at this seven of wands it feels like if you're connecting with the divine masculine he's going to challenges right now but regardless a good news for you pile one he's trying to tell you i will work on myself i will work on our relationship and i am going to fight through these challenges just to be with you and i know you might not be seeing that right now but i want you to know that i got this i got this i got this it's everything under control. That's what he was trying to tell you anyway, because it's a masculine energy trying to say, I will be with you very, very soon. I'm going to fight this. So it feels like he is on his beast mode, fighting mode. Okay, so it feels like if the, you are divine feminine waiting for the one, then your counterpart's going to fight for you, trying to say they, they already embraced the journey. So if you are a divine masculine who picked pile one, Feels like you went through like some some tower moment in your life, like confusion. You are in a crossroad. Where do you go from here when it comes to um, your journey, your love life? Or where do you go from here? Like purpose, career. So anyway, divine masculine is kind of confused, but he is fighting this. Okay. So what now, spirit guys? Yes. Fighting the dark attacks, the karmics, the temptation. So if divine masculine is very much confused because like, you know, the dark force is trying to block your connection, create blockages or distance or karmics or third party, spirit guys try to say, what is going to conquer the darkness? Okay, you have to, that's why we already saw like the, the new cycle, the, the transformation energy a while ago, someone to embrace the change. You have to defeat this darkness. Love conquers all. Okay, so if someone is feeling hopeless in love here, maybe you should work on your relationship. After all, you know, maybe the divine feminine is feeling hopeless and thinking like, yeah, her future spouse is not coming anymore. But your masculine energy like your divine counterpart is trying to say i am fighting this i will be with you yes there you go if you are a divine feminine you have to keep cleansing and purifying confusion negativity within yourself it's kind of like you know, Spirit Guys is trying to say you're very much a single right now, but but keep working on yourself, you know, inner work, shadow work, and do not worry because right now you're possibly angry, okay, or in pain. The why you're feeling so alone, so isolated, and um it feels like it feels like Spirit Guys says you have to um be confident with your independence, okay? Because right now you could be feeling like so so alone like no one is coming for you but the spirit guys trying to say that could change because why nothing is happening in your relationship divine feminine divine masculine it's because you're going through dark attacks the dark forces or the tests or the challenges is pulling you back into the darkness so you have to be much more stronger you have to be much more stronger out of this uh you have to be much more stronger than the tests and the challenges that is that is uh, blocking your connection so you see that's how i understand four of pentacles divine feminine let go of control issues so spirit guys is trying to say maybe you want um you know since you already been working in yourself and then you're saying why nothing is happening this is bs this is like what is this spiritual journey why is this just making giving you false hope is this just going like it's it's like taking you on like a 
round and round ride, like a merry-go-round. Spirit guide says, no, you got to learn to trust, but you have to believe in divine timing and you have to believe at the right place at the right time. You might want this relationship now to be grounded, but someone is is um, still not ready yet. It could be you, okay? Maybe you are just trying to say, like, yeah, you work on yourself, but maybe there's still some karma. There's still some healing that you need to be done with yourself because usually what we're doing, sometimes we're putting the blame on our divine counterpart because yeah, they're immature. Yeah, they have to work on themselves. Why? You know, you know what? Spirit guys is trying to say this time, maybe uh, the, the, the reason why you know, you're not yet together. It's because you still have to really release some kind of bad karma, trauma, negativity, and, and, and pain and anger within yourself so you can manifest this connection. So anyway, Knight of Swords, see? Cutting energy. You are in the runner and chaser dynamic. But I know that the Divine Feminine is very much a single here. But I know that the Divine Masculine, if he is hanging in here, confused. Okay, if let's say there's really some distractions and temptation. He's going to cut away from all these bandages that's making him hanging here. I tell you that. Okay, but you gotta be patient, Divine Feminine, because this is a work in progress. This is not easy. Your your energy peppermint marshmallow is full of challenges but but this is this these challenges isn't meant to break you spirit guide says it has it's it needs to uh teach you to be much more stronger and for you to embrace your warrior energy okay so seven of cups yes there you go and stop manifesting fear negativity hopelessness and drama because right now if you are you know if you are going to uh, have low frequency and then you're going to manifest karmics drama and fear in your relationship and more blockages i'm just trying to tell you the truth here it's not easy you know what spirit guys is trying to tell you deception lies karmic drama you know all that nine yards of blockages and challenges so spirit guys says you have to like like you know uh be much more stronger than these dark attacks or that's this confusion that is like that is like oh my god holding you back from your true love okay see there you go spirit guys says oh my god you have to vibrate to love. This is the Ace of Cups. You have to purify all the confusion, all the negativity inside you. It's kind of like if you are a cup and there's dirty water inside it, you have to pour that dirty water out of this cup so you can manifest blessings in your life. You are worthy to ask the divine God up above, the higher power to bless you, okay? To cleanse you, to purify you, mind, heart, body, and spirit so you can power manifest healing and love, forgiveness, compassion, and you are going to understand selfless love and you are also going to understand your self-worth because right now feeling like you are losing self-confidence and you're losing hope in this connection. So anyway, this is the culmination of all blessing. This is a message that the higher power is guiding you, okay? Even though there's a lot of pain, but you are not alone. You're also very gifted. You're also very intuitive. So Spirit Guy says, how are you going to uh, manifest this connection by vibrating to love? And who is providing that source of love? The maker, the creator, the higher power, which also means divine intervention. So you hope, I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. So this is where you at right now. And there's a lot of messages here that you're going to test and challenges and loneliness and isolation, possibly separation as well. So children, heal your inner child, or this is also a past life relationship. Or children, maybe there's children involved, or possibly children um, is a part of your life purpose. Or maybe wake up in the eyes of a child, untainted, because right now there's a lot of like challenges here that you forgot who you are. Spirit guys trying to tell you, you have to, um, like, you know, it's like simple happiness simple mindset okay like go back to the basics so your love life is being affected by children but anyway children could also mean 
blessings, new life, new cycle, rebirth, okay? Embracing change. So, wow. Let go of control issues. Bam! I knew it. See? Someone needs to let go of control issues. Like, allow the situation to unfold naturally. That means let things happen the right place at the right times. Like, divine timing. Because someone's not ready. And possibly you're like thinking like, yeah, it's your future spouse who wasn't ready. But all along, maybe the one who is carrying blockages is you. Okay, so we have to take note on that. So Spirit Guys is trying to tell you, you know, you're, you can manifest your connection. And we are here. What I'm channeling, we are seeing it. We're not making it up. Okay, so keep an open mind. See what I'm trying to tell you? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Do not be so judgmental. Let's say if you're connecting with someone who did not see you, who did not believe you, or if you are connecting with someone who you think it's too good to be true, Spirit Guys is trying to say, you know, it's like, you could be diff different from each other, but you complement each other. Do not let your differences block you from being together. So if someone is judgmental and, and doesn't see you before, then that could change. But you give them, you gotta give them a chance to grow up and, and be mature. So I am seeing here, okay? Maybe you were losing hope because you think like, yeah, this is hopeless. And then you were working on yourself if you are divine feminine and then why nothing is happening. So anyway, embrace the journey. That's the message from, from the spirit world, from the divine. How are you going to manifest true love? You've already been uh, in this journey for a while. So you might as well finish finish the journey, okay? And and keep walking towards the destination so anyway if like i said a while ago if someone was being judgmental of you it could change okay they could see you but until then the spirit guys wanted to let you know you gotta believe in this connection because in order for this connection to to uh to come true you have to believe in each other because it feels like if you were in runner chaser dynamic and you are, you know, you are like, instead of looking at each other, you, your backs are turned against each other. So what now? Release your ex. See, Spirit Guy says there's temptation, there's third party, and there, there's someone wasn't ready because they need to release third party. So there you go. I mean, that makes sense now. Okay. So um, I'm so sorry. I try to understand as much as I can, but... um let's move forward i try okay anyway we're here constantly so spirit guys says beware of the red flags someone is not ready yet it could be you or it could be uh your counterpart who needs to cleanse cleanse themselves their life or clean some mess but at the same time just do not be like putting the dirty finger or on them and saying like yeah they're you're blaming them no spirit guy says this is both ways they need to clean up something and so are you. Do not, even if you're single right now, you're thinking like, yeah, you're already purified and cleansed and you work on yourself. Spirit guys trying to say, check that because maybe there's still some healing that you need to do. There's still some cleansing that you need to do in your life. Maybe more faith, maybe more a life mission or good deeds. So this, that's how I understand. And if you do not, really know how to get out of these tests and challenges ask help from guardian angels ask help from spirit guys and from the divine maybe you forgot to pray or maybe um you forgot to to dream to believe in your dream and uh, you forget to have hope in your heart because let's let's say you have hope today and then tomorrow you're confused and you're angry and then and then um it pulls your frequency lower. So angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. You need to protect yourself with the white light. Because I am seeing the dark forces here. Like the devil energy trying to get you down. Trying to steal your light. Trying to steal and block your connection from happening. See, I tell you, heal your inner child. Pam, heal your inner child. Maybe I should get kitty. Oh my God, maybe intermission later. 
The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing kiss as young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. So, spirit guys wanted to remind you, be a child again. Or there's like an inner child inside you who is possibly wanting to be loved. and But at the same time, you know, like you want to be protected. and But then the pain, the loneliness when you were growing up it makes you bitter it makes you lonely so spirit guide says go back to the basics go back and and wake up that inner child and heal okay and know that you deserve love you are going to be deserving of happiness and someone is going to love you and protect you and no no one's going to abandon you you're not alone see spirit guide says guardian angels are here you have to remember that you are never never ever ever alone so what now are we i'm going to get this okay like a message from your divine counterpart a message from your future spouse what they want to tell you right now i am always dreaming about you so whatever the deal is whether you're already know each other or you are still yet to meet there's a very strong spiritual connection or someone is thinking about you. Maybe they don't they don't express their love to you the way the way that you want them to. But I know that the feeling are mutual and there is a very special connection. But, you know, to tell you honestly, both connection, both you and your counterpart needs to grow and shine the light towards each other so you can find like you know some 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 light and some hope because and some strength because right now if you're going to like welcome the chaos and the conflict and the misunderstanding then you're going to have trouble grounding your connection in reality so it means you are the sun the moon and all the stars in my life that means like i said already the power of love and light you have to ask the source for for the highest energy of love and light. After all, as they say, love is the highest the highest healing frequency of all. So, you know, your energy pile, um, pile one is kind of like a deeper emotional experience. You know, you went through like this major life-changing epiphany and, and thinking like, like are you going to wait forever maybe someone's a late bloomer here see spirit guys is trying to say someone need to cut away from negative karmic pattern there's some deeper issues third party inner child like of uh, the fear of abandonment maybe you're you're connecting with someone who didn't have so much love uh, while they were growing up so it's a lot and uh, maybe they're dealing with trauma so, or you as well so uh, so this is a message that in this lifetime, whatever the trauma, even in past life or whatever the trauma, whatever the chaos, your love for each other should be should be stronger, okay? And you need to learn to choose each other and remember the vow to love each other till the end of time. So look, is I choose you and I'll choose you over and over without pause, without a doubt in a heartbeat. This is also a message that do not let like little setbacks and, and chaos and triggers like make you want to give up on each other spirit guys is trying to say you have to give your relationship a chance i don't know because that's how i was uh seeing so let's just finish your energy with a fortune cookie because i'm in the road right now as you can see i'm with kitty so uh let's just finish your energy tough and trying times see what i'm trying to tell you you have to be much more stronger uh from uh like you know much more stronger than your fear you have to be much more stronger than this tough and trying times tough times ahead that means there's challenges ahead which i already know there's a lot of challenges think long term and make decisions accordingly which i was already trying to say avoid negative people at all costs avoid the bad juju avoid the devil energy and av avoid like pulling your frequency so low so anyway uh i try um that's it for now okay i wanted to get like a, a message but maybe next time because um spirit guy says we can read the book next time let's move forward and 
okay thank you spirit guys but wow see i just really wanted to pull a few but look there's a lot that's coming out and it's all challenges so but there's nothing to fear why if you're going to battle you can't be fearful you have to be a warrior so let's go um let's uh, go which one truffle i think they sit truffle what is happening with your future spouse journey spirit guys a channeled message please for pale truffle queen of coins expect miracles to happen weather the storm like uh, maybe there is some challenges right now but you have to be graceful gentle and kind and reliable and know uh, that your dreams your dreams will come true or spirit guys trying to say you will meet someone who's going to support you and help you to make your dreams come true or this is a message from the divine that you are supported you are love and you are beautiful and you're abundant and be confident okay because right now maybe you're feeling like yeah why <laughs> okay like is this really possible sorry yes four of wands see spirit guys is trying to say someone thinks you're beautiful maybe you have a secret admirer or this person is already in your life and then they are thinking long term and thinking like yeah you're beautiful you're going to be a good mother to um your future children you're going to be a good wife you're going to be a good uh, life partner so anyway that's how i understand right now and is there a wedding and marriage waiting for you spirit guy says yes and also luxury and also money okay so maybe you're also going to be business partners not only life partner but also business partners so anyway that's how i understand but there's marriage waiting for you yes queen of swords do not put up with bs and and raise your standard okay spirit guy says step into your truth you know what you want you are not um you know you are not a fool you are not a little child anymore who doesn't know anything so let me just stretch because i'm here in the blankets spirit guy says keep cleansing yourself and keep um purifying your surroundings avoid negativity that also means move away from toxic people places and things or possibly move away from negative thinking okay because the spirit guy says you'll be all right there is happiness and marriage waiting for you and your future spouse yeah but be careful okay because when you think you're like all happy do not be slacking that's why spirit guy says keep uh protecting yourself with the white light you have to keep praying you have to have faith because right now it feels like you're you're journey is going to blocks okay negative blocks challenges but there's ten of cups so spirit guy says if distance is a factor of your separation someone's going to travel towards you this is also like fulfillment of your wishes and there's rainbow like you know maybe you went through the storm that's why i say weather the storm but after you know they say without the without the rain there will be no rainbows so in order for you to to learn happiness you have to go through the pain but do not let this pain break you down okay that's how the message from the spirit world yes and do not be so hopeless because spirit guy says someone wealthy handsome loving <gasps> Oh, oh my god that's how i could say but this is the emperor energy a leader a change maker someone's going to protect you someone who's very stable luxurious not only spiritually but also financially someone who's going to support you going to be a good father and to your children going to be a good provider uh, possibly a mature uh, man okay or you know it's a, an, an energy of a 
mature person. So anyway, but but someone who's going to offer you stability. Anyway, I'm going to stop here. I don't want to ruin your reading, but Spirit Guide says, if you are confused, if someone's coming to love you, if you are confused, if someone is going to, if you're going to meet a life partner, if you're going to, to be married, Spirit Guide says, yes, you're going to meet someone, and yes, you're going to marry the man of your dreams, or you're going to marry the love of your life. So let's say that's you, Divine Feminine. So if you are a divine masculine who picked pile two, spirit guide says you will, you will gain stability. You will find yourself. You will be successful, but, and you will also rise above the challenges and, and conquer this darkness, this temptation. You know, maybe before you made a mistake and you didn't see the right connection. You didn't see your divine feminine because there's a lot of temptation and destruction, but you know, all along in your heart that you know, your soul will always recognize who your twin flame is. If you are in a twin flame journey, because I can see that it's possible you are in a twin flame. You know, you have four of wands. You have, you have ten of cups. And that's a lot of love already that's going to help propel you towards happiness and towards twin flame union. So, you know, Divine Feminine, you also have Queen of Swords here. Okay. And Queen of Pentacles. Hang in here because right now feels like you're very much a single, okay? You've been working on yourself. You are very much, um, like, you know, reliable and trustworthy and responsible. So anyway, Spirit Guys trying to tell you, do not lose hope in love. Someone is going to come in your life and love you very, very much. So anyway, our table is is moving around so um let's this is your energy update right now truffle truffle chemistry look <laughs> if you're thinking like yeah if there is enough chemistry in your connection if there's going to be love at first sight like how are they going to see you are they going to be attracted to you spirit guy says yes the physical chemistry spiritual connection is very very strong so there's attraction in all ways so there's a strong magnetic attraction here and i already know that because like i said uh someone really thinks you're beautiful and they're they are uh, looking at you or possibly they still yet to express their feelings to you towards you so spirit guys trying to say maybe divine feminine was just clueless and waiting there for a while but then you're clueless that you know universe trying to tell you your future spouse, your true love is coming in your life. Or it's already here. Trust, trust in your intuition. If the divine has channeled messages to you or possibly you're seeing signs, symbols, synchronicities, trust the message, trust the signs, trust your intuition. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so trust and have faith that you will marry your true love. Okay, I know it is hard sometimes if you're like getting dark attacks and psychic attacks here, but you know, according to spirit guys, you gotta learn to have faith. Oh, I tell you, there is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Romantic feelings. I was already trying to tell you this. Someone is going to make the first move. Someone loves you very much. Someone is in love with you. Or if you are in love with someone and if you think they do not see you, maybe for a time they do not see you because there's dark attacks, there's blockages. But Spirit Guide says, but deep inside, deep, 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 deep inside, they, this person knows that you are special, that, you know, it is possible that you are, you could be the one for them. Oh my goodness. But, you know, this connection still needs work. But like I said, there's a lot of love and marriage energy, even through the challenges. And I am confident that you're going to marry. Okay. Attraction. See, Spirit guys trying to tell you. You have to uh, believe in yourself, believe that miracles will happen in your life, believe that your dreams will come true, and um, do not let the pain, like, break you, okay? It feels like, you know, pain, pain comes from the dark forces. They want you to give up on this journey, and Spirit Guide says, no, do not give them that satisfaction. You 
have to know that you are a diamond. You got to know your self-worth because possibly you are um, like losing your self-confidence because you've been waiting for a while. You're a beautiful. You're abundant. And you're thinking like, what's wrong with you? Spirit guy says nothing. It's wrong with you. It just wasn't like, you know, it wasn't just clicking because this journey has to happen at the right place at the right time but is there true love and marriage waiting for you spirit guy says yes but it takes work okay so until then maybe you're asking when well it's a work in progress you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully okay so anyway let me get one more please spirit guys when will this happen it's a good question i'm going to pull this yeah, reunion, twin flame union. Someone from your past is coming back in your life. Someone from your past is returning to your life. See, I tell you, this is reunion. This is reconciliation. This is past life relationship. This could be fated meeting. Or if you are already um, in each other's life, if you are trying to manifest your reconnection, maybe you went separate ways before or you are in a twin flame separation with no communication. See, Spirit Guy says there is hope for your reunion, but healing needs to be done because right now you're getting dark attacks. So that's how I understand. And we are here, okay? Like sometimes I, I try to understand as much as I can and it's plain and shuffle and, and and channel so what's happening spirit guys thank you find balance healing because there's imbalance there's still a little bit of imbalance in your relationship but i could feel it like you know as an intuitive i could feel like you're almost there that's that's how i understand it feels like if there's if you are like in a journey or you're traveling and then you're thinking like, are you almost there? Are you almost there? Spirit guy says, yes, you're almost there. Or yes, your future spouse is almost here. Okay, but there's imbalance. So find the balance between your work, rest and playtime. And you have you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. So what you need is possibly positive energy and high vibration and and believing in magic and miracles to manifest this connection maybe that's the reason why we saw that you gotta have faith so what is the key for you to manifest this connection more faith okay by praying by meditating and simply be like believing that you will be together friendship and um and asking spirit guys and guardian angel to help you or moving away from toxic people who's bringing you down maybe like you encountered like people who doesn't agree on your relationship so surround yourself with people you can trust who can build you up or soul tribe that can help you like raise your frequency that's how i understand fairies and humans alike need friends now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams see i'm trying to tell you this you need to surround yourself with people spirit guides spirit helpers spirit guardians who can encourage you in this journey to to help you and support you towards manifesting your twin flame union or your love and marriage in your life because right now you are trying to heal the imbalance inside you there's nothing wrong with you okay if you are someone who already work on yourself you're very stable you're beautiful and then you think like, what's wrong with you? Are you undateable? Is there no one wants to be with you? What's wrong? And then, and then that's how the dark forces want you to think. Okay, that yeah, no one's going to love you. Spirit guy says no. You know, low vibration, dark attacks wants you to feel lost, alone, afraid, fearful, like because they're trying. Dark forces wants you to uh, like give up your light, okay? If you were like a firefly or if you are someone like, you know, with the brightest light, like a star, then you know what, what the dark forces want? Quench your light and you don't want that, okay? So um, anyway, Spirit guys, what is the message from their divine counterpart? Because pile two was waiting for, <gasps> I will be there, see? Do not lose hope. Your future spouse is trying to tell you. I know you've been waiting. I know you are there. Maybe I did not express my love to you. 
and I didn't tell you how I feel or I wasn't making the first move towards you, but I am here. I will be there. I'm almost there. I want to be with you and I always want to be with you. And sorry because I burned this with the incense. So anyway, the message from your future spouse, he wants, he or she wants to be with you or he or she will be there. So there's a lot of message. I just want one more, please. Very guys, one more please message from their counterpart. Another message to make a decision to be with you, to here and now, to choose you in this lifetime and the next and the next and the next. Do not worry so much about the past. The past is gone, but maybe we have to like go back in the past because you know to understand not to commit the same mistake, how to heal bad karma, how to release pain, you know, but Spirit Guide says it's good to know what happened in the past, but do not get stuck there. It's time for you to open new chapter for your new beginning. Remember, Spirit Guide is trying to say this is a past life relationship, but you're given another chance in this lifetime, like a deja vu, to come back to in each other's life so you can fulfill your destiny and be together and never be apart ever, ever, ever again. I choose you and I'll choose you over and over without pause, without a doubt in a heartbeat. And this time around, there will be no doubting this time around. It will be forever. That's the message from the divine. So let me get you a fortune cookie. This beautiful message, Belle, too. Wow. So can I get a message, please, Perry, guys? assert yourself believe in yourself see what i'm trying to tell you believe in your connection believe in this journey do not give up now go for what you want the time is right for soulmate connections birth of a child also likely see it is also a message that your true love is near or your true love is here or your true love is about to come in your life and marriage is is soon to come or or also saying birth of a child so that could also mean pregnancy or a children or a pet but anyway wedding bells are near your future spouse are here your future spouse is here so there you go that's your message wedding bells are near your future spouse is here marriage will soon to come in your life but simply be about your love life the best is yet to come so thank you very much <laughs> oh my god why i did not pick pile truffle okay actually i'm going to tell you the truth what did i pick the two the two marshmallows that i was already holding a while ago were peppermint marshmallows so that was um, pile one and then I also was holding peanut butter okay so this I think it's like pile one and pile four is my pick but anyway doesn't matter if you pick a uh, pile truffle and and uh, marshmallow so anyway let's go pile three no kitty cat has some marshmallows to eat maybe I will pick Kitty, kitty, come here, kitty. Kitty cat. Mama, mama. Kitty, I want an intermission. Uh, I want a drink. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of energy in the back. Kitty, oh! Oh, that's a sharp claw, Ming. Okay, Ming, here. Kitty, look, Ming. Kitty, oh. You see? Merry Christmas, Kitty. Merry Christmas, Kitty. Merry Christmas, Kitty. <laughs> oh, okay, here. Oh no, Kitty just scattered my energy. Okay, there's also energy in the back. See, I'm trying to tell you, Kitty, between me and Kitty, we're kicking all the energy. And then my blanket, I'm not on the blanket anymore. So let's go. Oh my goodness. 
Kitty cat, come here, me. Come here, me. Kitty is beside me, so thank you about that. Uh, we have a lot going on. <laughs> Give it uh, a reason for me and Kitty cat to be the messiest ever. Kitty, come here. Mama, come here. Okay, there you go. The Grace already honored us with his presence. Okay, so let's go pile on. Let me just move forward. Okay, spare guys, let's go because I had to get my intermission. So let's go pile marshmallow. What is happening with your future spouse journey? Six of Cups, past life relationship, someone is dreaming about you. And this is also involving children, so healing the inner child. This is also manifesting your dreams into reality. It also means like blessings. So anyway, let me understand, but Six of Cups could also be a reunion. Reconciliation, someone from your past is coming back in your life or you are connecting with a twin flame. Okay, so what is happening with your twin flame journey? Maybe you know all along that you are in a twin flame relationship or, um, you know, the universe already gave you signs, symbols, synchronicities. Yes, the star. Maybe this connection is a star seed connection or a star also means maybe you think... Um, this connection is too good to be true. It's kind of like so, so near and yet so far, but also a message from the universe that dreams to come true, wishes will be granted. Like, um, it is possible. Your true love is possible. Your connection is very much possible. Okay, so maybe you are different from each other, but Asperigas is trying to say, that's why it's the, the magic in the universe bringing you together because the star means fate and destiny like wish upon a star let the north star lead you towards each other that's why you are seeing signs symbols synchronicities the stars could also mean i see you in my dreams i can feel you a strong spiritual connection so someone is dreaming about you okay and i think your counterpart if you are in a distance with each other they are also uh sending you messages okay they're also asking the divine where to find you so anyway but there is hope okay in your connection queen of swords yes yeah, someone's very single here maybe it's you divine feminine like it feels like you were hurt in the past so you now you're feeling so much guarded because feels like you know you're you want to um you are praying and wishing for true love but at the same time you have a wall around your heart so this the queen of swords is also like you know, you know you're not going to deal with with bs with negativity like you just want to be with someone who's truthful honest and loyal to you so it feels like maybe you have a, a bad experience with like the wrong connections in the past because they weren't real they weren't true to you so now i and i understand see another message here do not give up because your future spouse the right connection is working on on your relationship is working on themselves is working on your relationship and the universe is like you know will bring this special person in your life and maybe you wonder why it didn't work out with others it's because it's because spirit guys there is a special person waiting for you okay but the special person is still healing so it's a possibility as well okay like spirit guys trying to say maybe if this person didn't express their love to you maybe they had other priorities before and that's the reason why you were doubting okay if they even like if the feelings are mutual if they're even like have best intentions for long-term relationship or or do they see you in um as a wife or husband material spirit guy says yes you know because you know your energy is hope and strength and and uh truth and clarity and integrity so that's how i understand right now and let me just shuffle the uh, energy okay 
so spirit guides until then someone needs to um be determined and and um you know keep fighting through the challenges i'm seeing 777 in your energy pile tree 777 that also means good luck great fortune um you know if nothing was happening then suddenly good good luck is going to be on your side 777 that also means you are on the right path and it could also means um like you are guided okay destiny will guide you towards each other or universe or the divine will bring you towards each other king of swords see the counterpart is coming in here your twin flame twin flame soulmate connection you are two piece in a pod spirit guys is trying to say someone is going to come in your life intuitive protective of you going to fight for you going to make a decision to be with you and not going to like just ghost you and and put you in the back burner this person is going to come in your life is grown has worked on themselves has purified themselves and already going to um like you know you're never going to guess yourself with this person they're truthful honest loyal um, a man of honor a, a, a person of honor a person of integrity they do not break their promise so this is a message for you pile three this person is going to come in your life to uh fulfill their promise to you to love you very very much the tower moment until then if you are there hopeless and in despair and in pain maybe there's third party or maybe there's distance and separation or maybe you are waiting for this connection to happen until then you need to have the light and the love in each other's heart okay so so you know what it feels like i am seeing like the red string of faith maybe destiny for a while give like put you in a different continent maybe destiny give you distance third party you know so you can heal your karma or maybe someone needs to cut away from negative karmic pattern whatever the deal is you know if you are a divine feminine you gotta know that you are beautiful that you are the love you are the power you are the diamond you're going to shine if 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 the dark forces were trying to uh to block that or to block your connection so your counterpart cannot see you remember you have to be strong because if you're going to be the one who's going to be wallowing in the dark and be miserable and then the dark forces are going to be laughing and smiling and you don't want that spirit guide says ask help from others ask help from the divine surround yourself with wonderful community spiritual religious community or you need to pray and meditate but you have to know that you are never alone in this journey soul tribes is here okay spiritual guides are here trying to tell you there is hope in your connection so anyway yeah do not feel stressed right now take care of your needs if you're worried if someone is worried about money about work about the health concerns about whatever is happening in in the world right now the low frequency you have to let go of the burden you have to um you know you have to lighten the load because right now, if you're carrying too much in your shoulders, you know, if you're thinking so much negative and stress, and that's going to pull your frequency lower. And, you know, as an awakened soul, spirit guys is trying to say our best, I, I mean, our um, nemesis right now, when we're trying to manifest true love and abundance and success and healing in our life is low frequency. So that's kind of like that's our kryptonite it's kind of like superman what's his like weakness it's like uh, the krypton is like spirit guys trying to tell you low frequency is the kryptonite of awakened souls or divine feminine and divine masculine okay so so spirit guys trying to say wow what's what's going to uh what's what's going to push you push you away from all this kryptonite and from all these blockages by ascending so maybe you gotta learn more about uh ascension meditation okay how to raise your frequency like like you know it's okay you're in the 3d we know that because the 3d is the material realm the physical realm but spirit guy says you have to ascend much more than that but at the same time you also need to be balanced so see what i'm trying to tell you it's kind of complicated i tell you there you go 
Move away from this kryptonite who's trying to make you weak. Because right now, this connection is going to challenges as well well anyway if you are in separation or if you are confused or if someone is very toxic and has pride and ego because you know look look who's responsible for that yeah divine feminine if you are connecting with someone who has a high pride and ego and he's very much like concerned about material things and and um, they do not see you for now. Spirit guys is trying to tell you you need to heal. Okay. It doesn't mean that they don't like you. They don't love you. No. Spirit guys is trying to say deep inside. They're trying to tell you. Their higher self is trying to say they need to be truthful to you. But now they are. The pride and ego is covering. It's like making them not true to themselves. So whoever is this. If this is a divine masculine. He needs to be true to his feelings. He needs to be true to himself. Until then, this relationship is a work in progress. It's in probation. But the tree of bones is also uh, abundance. The best is yet to come. Someone is waiting. Okay? But you won't be waiting there for a long time. But until then, if this is distance, you will come together. Okay, so that's how Spirit gets trying to say. After all, I was already channeling reunion. But there's work that needs to be done. And until then, this is a weekend energy update anyway. But it will get better, okay? Codependency, release third party, release material materialism pride and ego someone needs to learn that money fame fortune cannot buy happiness and true love see i tell you or someone has um need to let go of addiction vices temptations codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life anyway because someone need someone like you know if this is a divine masculine, they need to let go of temptation, codependency, uh, unhealthy habits. Or maybe if they were susceptible to dark attacks, they need to remember. Maybe divine masculine, divine feminine need to know that true love cannot, I mean money cannot buy happiness. Okay, someone, I think this is the message in your pile, pile three, that you need to know that. Okay, that there's more, there's much more. Oh my God, there's much more to this journey than just to be focused on material things or money. But you know, we need money. It could pay bills, but it doesn't buy happiness. Okay, so um, getting to know each other. So it's, maybe this is also a message for you, Pile Tree. Maybe you wanted to be together so much, but maybe Spirit Guy says, take it slow. Get to know each other. Okay, or if you were like dating around, Spirit Guys is trying to also tell you like release expectation, get to know people, like you have to get to know this person yet before like like you know giving up your white flag. So Spirit Guys says be careful because you're trying to purify yourself. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you, right? If you want someone to see you long term then you have to have self-love and self-respect okay so as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens and also a message that maybe you need to have bonding time and get to know this your um your counterpart well okay or even if you are together already and there's little chaos there's little imperfections then spirit guy says do not let these imperfections like make you hate each other so um it takes two to tango okay so it feels like your your um your energy is just saying you need to heal each other not to like contribute to more misunderstanding and chaos if the other one is like so fiery then the other one needs to be like you know calm so that's how i i see finances and career see money cannot buy happiness i just know that financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so if someone is very much focused on money and i already know this that this could be divine masculine or if this is also you divine feminine you're worried about your career but more so the more i understand divine masculine should ascend ascend and um 
you know, realize that money is not everything. Maybe they're workaholic. Maybe they focus more on money, pride and ego and focus more on what the society wants to uh, tell them like, and, and they're trying to control things or maybe they are someone who who likes you know like they like to date someone they like to be with someone just because it looks good in the society but you know it's, it's not necessarily what they what their soul and what their heart is trying to tell them so you understand what i'm trying to say because they are wearing the mask and the universe is trying to tell to tell your divine counterpart if it's a divine masculine to be true to themselves or maybe it's vice versa but i hope you get what i'm trying to say attraction until then shadow work keep cleansing yourself and know that you know if you are losing confidence you gotta give um you have to ask god for confidence or you spirit guys is trying to say you have to believe in yourself okay that you know, everything's going to be all right. But sometimes I know it's so hard to say like, yeah, everything's going to be all right. If you're there feeling so alone, isolated, abandoned, rejected. No, you're attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So take it easy. Take care of your needs one step at a time. You cannot push a relationship. You cannot push a person and force a person to love you, especially if they're very toxic. So let it go right now. Breathe. Okay, not necessarily you're going to cut ties and let go, but stop chasing them. Let them heal. Okay, give give it time. Like just just chill. Okay, yeah, spirit guy says, look, it's worth waiting for. Give it time. Okay, it's kind of like you know when you're cooking something. It feels like if you're cooking rice, you have to wait for the rice to cook or anything else like that you're cooking. You cannot eat it okay like like raw i mean there's some food that you really need to to eat like cook okay so anyway divine timing is is a work in your love life well i was just trying to make an expression but spirit guy says the right place at the right time it feels like when you are trying to cook something you have to eat it when it's done you cannot be eating a food when it's still raw especially if it's not ready yet so see what i'm trying to tell you take care of your needs chill breathe peace choose yourself gain back your confidence because that's what you really want to have in your life right now um let me see why did I reach out for that? Okay, so I reached out for that. So let me just um, get two from here. So we are here in your energy, okay? So, oh my goodness. Ask, ask for help. Did I say the ask help from others? Ask help from guardian angels? Anyway, this is your message. Ask and you shall receive. You are never alone in this journey. If you are like losing hope, divine intervention, protection, um, like ask for protection, pray for protection, uh, like the white light, cleanse your energy. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. You ask for heavenly assistance, heavenly support, divine support. So ask guardian angels for help. Okay, you need supernatural guardian angels help to clear the dark attacks because this is you know, you're going to challenges, but Spirit Guy says you just really need to be confident, okay, that you go outside, yeah, and heal. Wow. But the answers you seek is already deep inside you. But if, you know, go outside, it's also like meditation, walking by nature, or breathing fresh air, okay? surrounding yourself with green energy like maybe because if you are so uh cramped up inside the room maybe you are like feeling so anxious there so you know as awakened souls you have to be a free spirit go around nature be calm so it's like maybe go for a drive so anyway spirit guy says it's time to go outside tune in to the powerful peace of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat so it's like nature, connect with nature, connect with, with, you know, maybe you're part elemental. So that also means you have to connect with Mother Nature, Mother Gaia, or 
like you know like the forest and look at the beautiful colors of autumn or anyway spirit guys is trying to say let the elements help heal you the fire earth air and water and what um what lessons do you need to learn water let it flow let your emotions flow even if you're too sensitive or cleanse what you don't need anymore air go with the flow or like whatever the wind blows or feel the breeze in your hair feel the wind in your cheeks so anyway or the energy of the wind to um like help you embrace change or fire to find the fire inside you to not like like, not be hopeless like the energy of fire to like like burn that passion and the creativity and the inspiration and the warrior energy inside you or what is the other element like the earth you know to help ground you and help you focus on uh, focus your energy so um to keep you balanced and grounded see i'm trying to tell you i tell you see your elemental fairy spotting so and you don't have to see miracles and magic and supernatural and divine so so you will believe spirit guy says magic is all around you magic is already st starts inside your heart so you gotta have a little faith so it's time to go fairy spotting it's said that seeing is believing but in fact the opposite is true believing is seeing how can magic happen to someone who doesn't believe in magic so remember as your supernatural channeler i was the first one who have to believe in magic and miracles so i can power manifest so i could align myself to the divine and at least you know if you don't see me in my life how are we going to see exact energy and for me every energy not just lucky guess like every energy from the first energy to the last bam so surreal but it's not me but in a way, I still need to put the work. But, you know, like I said, my soul tribe, who who opened magic and miracles in our life? The divine, the creator, the maker. Okay? And sent guardian angels and spirit guides to be with us. So anyway, society, see? i sorry, I have to take it. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interest for singles will be the result so spirit guy says you just have to find the right one okay or if you are already connecting with someone then they have to work on themselves do not blame yourself so much like i said it takes two to tango although you have fault and they have fault too so anyway you know you have to meet each other halfway so anyway spirit guys is trying to say maybe you have to um go out there go outside after all there's also a message go outside and maybe you are hiding in the room and no one's going to discover you how are you going to manifest true love and then you are hiding inside your room well i understand we are here in the pandemic era right now like lockdown maybe that's why the the blockages too because of the lockdown or maybe there's some distance but until then spirit guy says I know we are in the social distancing, we are on the new normal, but until then, how are you going to meet this special person if you still have to meet? You're going to meet in the community, outside or through an event, a special event, a special invitation. So anyway, around a lot of people, society, that could mean... Maybe you're also watching each other on social media, or you could also meet each other through online dating. Or social media i'm not necessarily i don't know anything about online but i am not ignorant on it but i'm just trying to say that's how i am picking up right now maybe you're watching each other online see i try to tell you embrace change just like that energy of air okay a change of residence partner career or job is on the cards or on the horizon that also means new job new love travel okay you're going to travel maybe you're feeling stagnant and stuck right now because of whatever's happening with the world but your future is looking bright there's travel new job new career you're restless and in need of a change and that is exactly what is coming your way see spirit guys trying to say go outside if you're feeling restless and if you are feeling like so um 
alone right now, just know that you can always ask the divine for help and give you peace and give you confidence so your true love will find you. So anyway, that's... And will you marry? I am seeing celebration. I am seeing wedding bells and marriage in your future. So thank you so much. And I try. Okay. And I hope you are. Uh, because this is kind of little right now. Okay. Thank you very much. But I already know. Like you're partly elemental. Okay. Fire, earth, air, and nature. And I need to stretch kitty because kitty just let me kick my blanket and then now i wasn't in the blanket yeah the best is yet to come in your life i try to understand as much as i can i believe in your dreams hitch your wagon to a star or maybe aim for the moon or even if you don't your arrow doesn't reach the moon you your arrow will lead, will, will land among the stars. But anyway, that's how I understand. But really, Spirit Guy says, your dreams will come true. It's not, there's no hit or miss here. Okay? You will be okay. So let's go. But there's challenges, so that's fine. <laughs> oh, I kind of pick pile peanut butter. Okay, let's go. Let's, um kind of like arrange our table here okay so until then let's go see i try to like carry our a little energy even if i'm on the road and kitty was actually very nice last night and he's like a bunny bear he is like cuddly kitty so let's go peanut butter what is happening i'm going to take on the table spirit guys channeled message the high priestess trusts your intuition. You're very gifted. Mother Universe is already trying to tell you, Cinderella, you will go to the ball. Maybe some things you do not understand right now. You're feeling so misunderstood. You're feeling so alone and you're seeking a lot of answers. Where do you go from here? What are the signs, the symbols, synchronicities that you are uh, seeing? Is this just false hope? Is this the illusion? Is this... Is, the, is this journey illusion? Spirit guy says, no, you are special. You are guided. Mother Universe trying to tell you, it's just like a fairy godmother going to answer your prayers or uh, going to make your wish come true. Or it's also divine intervention, like the higher power trying to tell you, you will be blessed and your answers will be, your prayers will be answered. So, Simply be wishes granted, answered prayers, and that's good. Six of Swords, I tell you, trust and surrender. Destiny and the universe and the divine will possibly lead you towards your counterpart. Maybe, the, let's say, if this is your future spouse, maybe they're from a faraway land. Or if this is you, divine feminine, you have to choose yourself. You have to choose peace. You have to... Uh, you know, let the universe like like uh, propel your 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 destiny towards better times because there's pain. Okay, you went through some pain, but I can understand six of swords is also like like uh, forgiveness, travel, compassion, choosing peace, choosing yourself. But really, a message: trust and surrender and. Um, yeah, letting go of all the old cycle. So you could be connecting with someone from from a, 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 like a faraway land. Maybe there's some distance. Oh, anyway, let's move forward. <laughs> Page of Wands, new beginning. This could be new love. Maybe this is still yet um, a fated meeting. Or maybe if you already know this person, the, the universe already gave you signs, symbols, synchronicities synchronicities who this person is and this person is very creative maybe um like related to film music entertainment industry but you know very handsome very beautiful like um a person who has every potential to uh, very successful but anyway page of wands is also new beginning and fresh start but i do believe that you are connecting with someone very very creative maybe they are an actor uh, an athlete or someone like 
you know, has so much creativity inside them. But let's see. Until then, there is a divine feminine losing hope. Um, like very confused. Okay, that's why the universe is trying to say, why are you doubting this connection? Maybe you are connecting with a high profile personality. And that's the first time I've ever said that on our reading right now. Pile four, Spirit Guide says it is possible that you are connecting with someone who is in the public eye so anyway but you know do not judge yourself too much maybe you're thinking like yeah yeah maybe like you know it's too good to be true that's why i was already trying to tell you you were asking is this illusion is this delusion is, and mother universe trying to confirm to you no it's not you know universe is full of mysteries and magic and they're going to bring twin flames or soulmates or future spouse together even if it's 7 billion 10 billion people in the world you'll find each other night of wands very 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 soon see the energy of a masculine or the energy of someone who's very spontaneous well-traveled um like uh, a person who uh, likes adventure, a person who's also very, very passionate. So anyway, I think what this person can teach you how to embrace and live life to the fullest. Embrace change and live life to the fullest. Because you know what? This person doesn't have a problem embracing change. I mean, there's speed. There is uh, creativity. So they have a lot of ideas. So anyway, but they're also like, you know, maybe the dark side with this person is they're all over the place. Maybe they were searching for a home, for grounding, someone to belong to. Okay, Be maybe because for a time, Maybe they lost uh, control of their life because the society or maybe like if, you know, if they have a manager or, or someone running their life. I don't know. You know, I that's how I am picking up right now. That is whoever you're connecting to needs to take back control in their life. Do not let society, money, fame, fortune, like, like, um, like ruin them, ruin their their uh dreams of true love so king of wands i tell you you're connecting with a high profile personality someone who is um charming who has a lot of admirers who's handsome who's creative who's possibly very beautiful who's also very handsome they take care of themselves so everything that i already told you okay but good news there's page of wands knight of wands king of wands that means they're grown they're intuitive uh, maybe they they used to be a bad boy back then or maybe they're a good boy all along good boy good girl okay but with a twist but you know what but this is a good person see what i'm trying to tell you this person um just wants to be happy Knight of Swords and also an energy of speed. That also means, you know, um, ooh, if there's social media, there's drama, there's scandals. So maybe, you know, this person is kind of guarded too and doesn't want drama. This person, although they're in the public eye, they're also wishing for peace. But at the same time, the pressures of their uh, occupation. Oh my God, I don't know why I'm picking that up, but the spirit guy says... Remove yourselves away from scandals and the drama. You have to be true to yourselves. Yes, so you can be together, I tell you. And the spiritual connection is real. But for some reason, this person is also feeling powerless, okay? Because they want to travel the world to be with you. And because they are awakening and they want to find you. Or this person is intuitive all along they know all along that you are out there somewhere in the universe or maybe if you already know each other maybe they're watching your social media as well without you knowing okay or they are also asking about you in the community or if you if this person is already like looking at you love at first sight and they think you're beautiful but this very guy says this is the two of cups you want to be together and let me just uh it's like twin flame connection 
king of swords yeah there you go spirit guys says they want to protect you they want to choose you and be with you but until then you know nothing is ever perfect you know we can only think like yeah fairy tales do come true but in the real life it's not that easy but until then if the universe will bring magic then what you know what is impossible nothing okay king of swords they need to be true to themselves first so if you are there thinking like yeah where are they are they going to be really falling in love with you are they going to really look at you spirit guys is trying to say they're already looking at you temperance at the right place at the right time and believe in destiny and truly this is the angel of union angel of twin flame union angel of balance of justice of healing okay until then you still have to heal the karma but possibly this is a connection of earth angels so far that's how i understand or guardian angels trying to tell you you are protected by guardian angels okay that's the reason guardian angels is sending you signs symbols synchronicities or in your dreams as well or possibility guardian angels is trying to um, send messages or dreams to your counterpart to your divine masculine or to you okay that your connection is very 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 real so that's how i understand and i try but more so spirit guys says do not doubt the connection trust the signs the symbol the synchronicities and if you're truly being channeled a person wow do not doubt the connection i don't know that's how i understand but i am thrilled for you free yourself see do not doubt the connection it's time to take back control of your life i knew it when i am speaking up the energy i knew it so you are connecting with someone who needs to take back control of their life because if they're feeling like powerless like right now because they their soul felt in the, their soul knows that you are out there or maybe if they did not express their love to you or like it's something like like you know your your connection needs movement your connection needs like like you know uh help so you can tell each other you love each other or for your fated meeting like be together but you know i'm not even worried because mother universe and guardian angels are here okay you have supernatural warriors guiding you towards each other so anyway if there's any blocks if there's any powerless frustration then spirit guys says you will clean this up okay you will clean this up love yourself first until then i know it choose yourself choose peace find that peace and harmony inside you detachment from pain oh do not be so guarded it's okay if you want to be loved then you have to put yourself out there wear your heart in your sleeve anyway and then if you are different and no one believes in you you have to believe in yourself and believe in love regardless because they say how are you going to find love if you're not if you don't believe in love and if you're not going to put yourself out there to find true love so anyway that's how i understand your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and this is also means love yourself first fall in love with yourself and then when you learn to fall in love with yourself take care of your needs when you are peaceful and you're confident with yourself and that's how you're going to attract the one or that's how you're going to put out the vibration to, to really call your future spouse, your twin flame in your life. And that's how it's going to clear the blockages. Feels like confidence, okay? And peace, the, the power of peace and confidence is going to help ground your connection. Retreat and heal, okay? And healing, which also means peace, okay? Destiny or the universe is trying to call you, pile four, to heal yourself and be peaceful. So um, it's time to disconnect from the world. Detachment from pain, detachment from, um, from um, you know, you expect miracles to happen in your life anyway. But the Spirit Guide says if you are manifesting something, you have to give it to the universe. You have to give it to God. You have to learn to let, let go and let God. And then you have to, to uh, 
you know, uh, let go of the control and, and, but you know, deep in your heart, that is going to happen, that you're going to have your marriage, your twin flame union. And let's say you've been manifesting this for a while. Spirit guide says, do not give up now. Okay. You know, pile one and pile four are the same. You're going through challenges, but you will get there. Okay. Spirit guide says you will get to your destination. No matter how hard the journey, never give up now. Because you know what? Like I said, I was holding two while ago and it was the peanut butter and it was the uh, peppermint marshmallow one and four. Okay. So flirt and never forget that you still have the energy to be happy and at least like flirt. That means <laughs> extend your lighthearted energy to others. You know, lighthearted energy is also high vibrational, happy, positive. Like do not be so stressed. Do not be so burdened. Okay. When you are so troubled and broken deep inside, spirit guys is trying to say that's going to show. You have to like release the heartache, the pain. That's why I keep saying detachment from pain. And, and when you are detached from pain you are lighthearted and you are like free so anyway yes spirit guy says honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and i am seeing wedding and honeymoon and honeymoon every day okay so will you marry spirit guy says yes you will there's passion there's happiness but you have to bring back that light heart high light height light heartedness sense of humor and fun and happy happy version of yourself and not that broken helpless okay like like oh my goodness spirit guy says no you're not going to be like a, a dark personality okay you're going to be a child you're a child of light and that's how i understand well that's our collective anyway so let's um get two energy please for pile pure intention see pure intention is also like purest love purest light high vibration okay light heartedness only pure light and pure love it's like maybe you have to surround yourself with white light and attract people with the best intentions towards you. So maybe create boundaries as well. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. But how are you going to manifest love, marriage, true love, twin flame union? Pure intention. That means high vibration super high vibration or at least work on on uh, your frequency like i said already light heartedness sense of humor is going to be your key okay to give you peace and to power manifest your twin flame union or your marriage in your life okay or to heal your connection if you are in separation right now or if you think it, this is impossible, no, Spirit Guide says nothing is impossible. Ask for help. See, it came out again. Guardian angels are here. You are not alone. Ask help. Surround yourself with the right soul tribe, spiritual guide. Ask help from the divine, from guardian angels, spirit guides to help you in this journey, divine intervention. Angels are celestial beings to protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. So I tell you ask for help and just for uh, that just i want to get one more celebration wedding Pam! spirit guys is trying to tell you you will marry do not be so hopeless you will get together get ready to let your hair down and celebrate wedding bells are near this could also mean true love is near or true love is here or like someone loves you very much and you're going to marry for love okay so it's time to go out to dance and play an invitation could be on the way so that also means <laughs> two of cups four of wands maybe you're going to have a, a big wedding a grand wedding an elegant wedding whatever it is even if it's an intimate wedding you're going to be very very happy okay so i see true love and happily ever after in your pile pile four thank you spirit guys because 
Wow. The challenges, the dark attacks. Well, we already know the dark attacks are very um, frustrated and they're very desperate right now. That's why they are trying to block everyone and lower the frequency of our planet and our collective. So I'm going to take this pair, guys. Thank you. And this came out again. I choose you and I'll choose you over and over again without a pause, without a doubt in a heartbeat. That also means, like, you know, here and now you will you will choose each other or your counterpart your your divine masculine divine feminine or simply be divine masculine is going to tell you i choose you and it's only you in my heart from here now and forever and eternity and you are the light in my darkest you give me hope you give me strength and with you and when I think of you, I feel love. So something like that. You're different. You make them fall in love. You you melt their heart and you uh, give them reason to live. Okay, so that's how I understand. You are the sun, the moon, and all the stars in each other's life. Or you are the sun, the moon, and all the stars in my life. Like, journey wasn't easy. But you'll get there, okay? Can't wait to spend my life with you. And until then, until you are going to hold each other's hand and, and look at each other and say, I can't wait to spend my life with you. And this journey is all worth it, even though it wasn't so easy. But we're so thankful that you, that, um, you know, you're still thankful from, even through the life lessons but later on you will be much more thankful because you are together at last <laughs> finally and anyway last but not the least the message i can't get you out of my mind that means someone cannot stop thinking about you or you're not you can't stop thinking about someone because you know because it's spirit guys is trying to say this is your connection okay and you are doubting like yeah Maybe they weren't the one. Maybe you're just illusion, delusional. Spirit guy says, no, it's never been a delusion. And you know, in this journey, we just really have to be strong and stand our ground, okay? Because, well, we're already supernatural, metaphysical, some things that can be explained by the laws of nature. But if universe is trying to tell you, your journey is real and, and you're thinking about someone and thinking about like, yeah, is this connection real? I already told you that it's your relationship, your connection is not an illusion. It's real wisdom. See, I tell you, trust your intuition because it's divinely guided. The signs, the symbol, the synchronicities, the messages will shower and pour in your life. And that's going to be the sign. You're not going to force this. You're not going to make this up. This is the universe trying to tell you, yes. You are not to inflame journey. Yes, your future spouse is near. And yes, you're connecting with someone and that is your future spouse. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. So anyway, Spirit is trying to say, trust your intuition, trust guidance from up above, divine intervention. The older person could also mean like older people around your life, okay, to advise you. If you're needing someone to talk to, or if you don't have anyone, the inner circle, or, or you don't trust like trust anyone like that, then Spirit Guys is trying to tell you, if you don't have a mentor, a teacher, or parents, then you have to ask God up above to help you heal yourself, your connection, and your frequency. But more so, the answer is wisdom. That means truth, intuition, society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interest for singles will be the resort, result. So Sperry Guys says, put yourself out there. Okay, do not like be hiding. You are manifesting love, but in a way, you have to put your heart out there. Okay, do not like, you know, you could be guarded because you don't want to be dating the wrong connections. But until then... Trust your intuition and get out there. Go get them, tiger. So anyway, how are you going to meet this person? Through an event, through, us, through business opportunities, maybe through creative event, cultural events. So anyway, through a party, a lot, a lot of people. 
health and take care of your needs take care of your health an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet many new friendships are on the horizon so i just have to give this to you to take care of your health spiritual health physical health go on a diet eat healthy or or um be mindful of what you use or you eat or you put in your body what you eat what you drink so anyway achievement see you are possibly connecting with someone successful and so you are also going to be successful so anyway it's like the six of one's energy there is victory and success in the future or you're connecting with a public figure and the relationship is real see this is just a confirmation from the universe i'm not making it up pile four enjoy the limelight you've earned you've earned it although on the family front someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights so if you're the one who's feeling sleepless and worried okay about health concerns so take care of your health after all we already saw that okay do not feel so hopeless and feeling like so negative anyway spirit guys trying to tell you you're moving towards um victory and success or maybe you're talented and you're going to be recognized or your connection is going to recognize you but do not lose yourself keep up be beautiful be confident and until then bon voyage and good luck so i love you all my soul tribe and what is like i said what what energy did i um was holding it was uh, the this one peppermint marshmallow and peanut butter because as i was arranging and then i was already carrying this while ago so this was my pick peppermint marshmallow and peanut butter and that's why pile four check pile one as well so thank you my soul tribe i love you all happy sunday and bye now